Improving Life on Earth, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 55. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 55, covering our progress for the week of March 10th, 2014. As always, if you'd like uh, additional details, complete links, and all other information related to this update, please visit our written blog, and if you would like to be on our email list for weekly progress update notifications, uh, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. Let's jump into the updates. One Community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, and a learner-teacher collaborative learning process. This week, the core team, which consists of the Satellite and Pioneer members, finished the Art, Music, and Trade Skills Subject Image, which you can see expanding here in the background. We also completed 90% of the Art, Music, and Trade Skills webpage, so you can check out all the information that is associated with this image there. And we completed the rest of the Health Subject Research topic and images behind the scenes, and we also researched another 225 images for the Science Subject Molecule which uh, those images were focusing on geology, marine life, and zoology. So we think we're now about 60% done with the complete subject behind the scenes. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and begins with creating eight different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on highest good food completed more light studies to explore exactly how much direct sunlight each area of the Akapini and Wallapini structures will get throughout the year, which you can see expanding here in the background. Details are on the written blog. We also started putting the first Zen Aquapini into 3D, and the written blog is where you'll find that image. And we added the goat breed specifics, feed costs, and other resource details to the open source goats page. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master electrician and a master plumber if you would like to help out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing finished the systems engineering approach and outline for building the earth bag village and we also created a new open source furniture portal for sharing the custom earth dome home furniture designs by Philip Gill who is now working on the two furniture designs you see here, which are optional designs for adding a recreation and or dining dome. Configuration 1 takes off on the children's student model that we shared a couple weeks ago and uses the built-in bookcases as the back for a TV entertainment stand on one side and fold-out or trundle bed sofa on the other with the same shift robe and two desks at the back. There's also a single armchair that folds out into a single bed and one of the purposes behind this configuration is to provide sleeping space for guests. So in the second one, 
Uh, Philip has created a curved sofa that can be configured with either a low coffee table, also an image one, uh, or a more substantial dining conference table around which the users can put additional chairs. It also includes the shift robe and the TV entertainment unit. In addition to this, we've continued to move forward with the vermiculture toilet designs thanks to the help of Victor Herber. Here you can see the most recent calculations, this is on the written blog too, and the structural details continuing to take shape. Adding in the specifics of how the trays will be guided, our first iteration of how the trays will be able to be jacked up for removal of the bottom one, and exploring the actual weld points. And last but not least, Bupesh Sithala, working on the 3D plant details, also finished about 50% of the 3D plant placement for the complete outer ring of the Earthbag Village. In this area of the project, we are seeking a Wi-Fi network designer and a master plumber. If anyone would like to help or know someone who might like to help us finish this open source model. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team working on the Duplicable City Center completed the addition of needed support pillars throughout the building, which you can see here. We also added in a new roof to the elevator and stair area to the fourth floor, a bunch of door and bathroom details, and a small floor addition and stair access storage area. We also completed another 20% of the Duplicable City Center detailed planting plan and 3D SketchUp plant correlation making us about 70% done with that, which you can see being integrated here thanks to the outstanding work of Joel Newman, who is putting together the real-to-life renders of this structure. In this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer, specifically for the cupola, to design that so that it can be built without heavy machinery. If you or somebody you know knows someone that could help us out, by all means, get in contact with us if you'd like to be a part of this open source component. With the goal of improving life on Earth for everyone and everything living here, we believe the only solution is an open source and free shared solution that addresses the complete human experience. Bringing together solutions for food, energy, housing, education, social architecture, for-profit, non-profit, business creation, true earth stewardship, all of these elements that we're putting together in one place to demonstrate them as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so that we can build teacher demonstration communities, villages, and hubs around the world to teach more and more people how to do this too. We see all of these items as not all these areas not only as interconnected, but as interdependent. And we know that if we can put them together, we can demonstrate a way of life that most people will consider to be far superior to their current living experience. And in doing this, we can create something that can change the world positively and permanently for everybody. We're here to make history. And this is our shout out. This is our call out to anybody that would like to join us. If you're somebody that is a creator, if you're a maker, if you're an innovator, if you'd like to be in our, if you either would like to be or are, an architect and engineer of the future. We're here to bring the people with the consciousness of the highest good of all, the people that want to do something that will make a difference for everybody. We're here to bring these people together, to bring you onto our team so that we can all work together and create something that will be transformational and positive for everyone. So if what we're doing sounds exciting to you, if it sounds interesting to you, if it's something that you'd like to participate in, by all means, please join our team. And if you're somebody who's a connector, if you're somebody who knows people and would like to help us out in the funding department, we continue to seek large-scale funding. We're looking for that one person or that one group that would like to donate to our nonprofit organization or to invest in one community so that we can take the property that we've been working with for the last three years, get it off the market, and build one community build everything that we're describing and take our open source creation, our free sharing to a whole new level, multiplying what we're doing a hundred times as far as our ability to output usable information, do-it-yourself instructions, all the details, everything that we're doing. You can see us creating our process right now. You can see all the details that we're putting together and we'd like to take it to the next level, but to do that we need help. So 
Also, following our progress is very helpful, too. I always want to say thank you to all the people that write us wonderful emails, the people that are following us on all the different social ne media networks that we're, we're a part of, which is literally every social media network out there. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for sharing everything that we're doing. These things help. And, of course, thank you for the small donations, too. You know, if six million people donated one dollar, we would also buy the property and build one community. Or if 300,000 people donated twenty dollars, we would buy the property and build one community. So regardless, it is happening and moving forward, and we say thank you to everybody that's following our progress. We appreciate it. Uh, subscribe to our channel if you'd like to follow our progress that way. And, of course, we have an email list, too. So if you send an email to us at one community updates at gmail.com, we'll put you on our email list, and every time one of these weekly updates come out, comes out, we will send you an email so you can check it out. Thanks for following our progress, and until next week, uh, we appreciate your support.